our NL Sporkle playlist. Can you name these movies which feature bald characters? Play a quiz. This movie is the third X-Men movie. This is X... Okay, like, like, okay, maybe it's the first one. That is Despicable Me. I've never seen it, but I'm familiar with the memes. There's 25. That's The Princess Bride. That's Shaft. That's Samuel L. Jackson as Shaft. That's Ben Kingsley as Gandhi. Let's just leave it at that. I believe that is uh, Heart... No, not Heart of Darkness. It's Apocalypse Now, which is based on Heart of Darkness. Um, excuse me, uh, he's not really bald. Bald Joseph Gordon-Levitt? That is 50-50. That is, uh, The Mummy. <laughs> I believe that's Eric Bana in, uh, Star Trek 2009. Alright. <laughs> that's Looper. That is, uh, The Big... No, the Green Mile, not the Big Green. That's the Green Mile, Michael Clark Duncan. Come on, man. That's not Mini-Me. That's Austin Powers. It's it's not the first one. Okay, that's... Why would I keep typing Bane? <laughs> it's the Dark Knight Rises. This is too easy, man. Oh, that's Adam's Family Values? How do you spell Adam's? That's just the Adam's Family. It's not Values. Okay, that's Timothy Oliphant and Olga Kirilenko in the movie Hitman. That is Rafe Fiennes from Harry Potter. You know what? I gotta, I gotta skip this one temporarily. I don't know it. That's um, uh, Superman Returns. <laughs> Oh, okay. Tropic Thunder. No problem. Yeah, yeah. That's Yul Brynner in The King and I. Oh, never seen it, but still. Come on, man. Matrix. Hellraiser. I know it. I just It, it took a second for my brain to not name the character. That's uh, Colin Farrell as Bullseye from the 2002... Ben Affleck movie, Daredevil. I don't know this one. I feel like it's... I feel like I'm gonna know it when I give up here, though. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom! That's Kali Ma! Still. 96%. 96% pretty good. I, I can live with 96%. Alright, what's the next quiz in the playlist? Oh, God. Can you name these chess-related facts to move from the upper left corner to the lower right corner? Probably not. Which chess piece has an L-shaped move and an equine design? It would be the knight. How many total pawns are on a chessboard at the start of a game? 16. Without resigning, what the fastest way to lose... Okay, that's scholars... Or fool's mate, sorry. Fool's mate. The formation consisting of a queen behind two rooks. Of a queen behind two rooks in the same file. I don't know. Well, hold on. Founded in 1924, the World Chess Federation is usually known by which four-letter acronym? FIDE. What Indian became the undisputed World Chess Champion in 2007? Viswanathan Anand. What 16th century Spanish priest led his lent his name to a popular chess opening, also known as the Spanish opening? Rui Lopez. What utensil gives its name? Fork. What French expression meaning I adjust is often spoken before adjusting a piece without moving it? J'ajuste? J'ajuste? I... J'ajuste? And it... Jose Raul Capablanca was the only world chess champion from what island nation? Cuba. What opening offering a white pawn at C4 is declined in by the orthodox line or the Slav defense, amongst others? Offering a white pawn at C4? I feel like I don't know that. What term, Italian for little flank, means moving the bishop to the second rank after advancing the knight pawn? That's a fianchetto, as we know. 
Um, also known as Fegatello. What chance opening with the culinary name is a variation of the two knights defense? I believe that that would be the pizza defense. <laughs> In 2002, at age 18, Ruslan Ponomaryov became world champion. He is a citizen of what former Soviet Republic? I used to know this. He's from the Ukraine. Okay. What IBM computer defeated Garry Kasparov? Deep blue. Come on, man. Come on. There's en passant. I see that in there. I see that in there. The Red Queen and the White Knight are chess pieces in a classic 1871 book by Lewis Carroll. What country home of Veselin Topolov issued the world's first chess-themed postage stamp in 1947? I feel like I did know that at one point. In 1978, Nona Geprindashvili became the first woman to attain what title? Woman's Grand Master? Master? Grandmaster? Sure, okay. <laughs> Named for a German physician, what principle says that rooks should usually placed be placed behind past pawns? A German physician was the Einstein principle. What common defense named for an island plays C5 to respond to an opening move of E4? Sicilian. Oh, baby. The defense about the obsessive chess genius Lugin was the third novel by what Russian-American author? Now they're asking me about books, man. Is it Alexander Pushkin? <laughs> I'm, I'm trapped, man. I'm trapped. Born in Prague, what man became the first undisputed world chess champion in 1886? We should know this. It's Alekhine. It's Mikhail Tal. It's Morphy, who is clearly American. It's um, Rui Lopez. It's Capablanca. It's um, Gary Kasparov. <laughs> Hold on. I think we can get over here. Well, how are we going to get to the corner if we can? I know it's Jad Jadut. Jad just. It's Jadjite Jadut. Jadusted. <laughs> Je, I adjust. Uh, uh, <laughs> what opening offering a white pawn at c4 is declined by the orthodox line or the Slav defense, amongst others? Well, the English is 1c4. But I imagine you do d4, d5. It's just the queen's gambit, dude. D4, D5, C4, I guess. In what Ingmar Bergman film does a medieval knight Antonius Block play chess with death? All right, what the? They're running out of time? Oh, it's this, I knew it was the seventh seal. I was already typing it. Mediocre. Next quiz. Can you name the video game by their in-game doors? Jadoube. Oh, thank you. That's not the way I said it. Okay, first one. That's Metroid Prime. Yeah. Second one, that looks like Halo to me. Third one, I'm going to be honest, I got no idea. Then there is Link to the Past. Pokemon. <laughs> I have no idea what this one is. This looks like Twilight Princess to me. Nope. Um, the next one is Bioshock. The next one is Contra 3, The Alien Wars. The next one, a key going into a big door. I've seen this before. Is it Banjo-Kazooie? Hold on. That's Kong. It's a rare game. Bad for day. That's a rare game, man. That's a rare game. Okay, hold on, hold on. Mario. Super Mario Bros. Um, oh, I, dude, so many of these are coming back to me. I don't know this one yet, but just give me some time, okay? That's probably like an Elder Scrolls. That's Paperboy. That's GoldenEye. I'm going to be honest, I don't know what that is, but it kind of looks like The Sims, okay? This is definitely GTA uh, 3, or GTA San Andreas, yeah. Um, that's Metal Gear Solid 2. 
or one maybe. I know this. I know this. I've played so much of this in my life. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Okay. This, this looks very familiar. Just take a stab at it. That's Final Fantasy. <laughs> Recognize that brickwork anywhere. All right. Now, bottom right, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea. My brain says that that's Golden Sun. All right. Now, this... Dude, I got... Is it Kingdom Hearts? Let's go! Okay. Now we're talking. Now, this... I'm looking at this. My brain's going... N64, PlayStation 1, game with a lot of doors. So I'm thinking to myself, it's Resident Evil. Dude, okay, you're going to think that that's suspicious. I swear to you, this is just... It's just psychology. Now this one. This looks like a Wii-era game. Muddled 3D. We got two and a half minutes. This, I'm like, man, that's that's like a PC game from the mid-1990s. Is it? I'm just going to type Elder Scrolls 2. Is that Morrowind? Is it Oblivion? Is it Daggerfall? Um, is that Age of... Is that Warcraft 2? Let's go! That's close enough, close enough, send it. Okay. This, I've got to be honest, I have actually no idea. This looks like it's on the Game Boy Advance to me. But I, I don't know what it is. Um, and this, I really... Dude, that looks like the Twilight Princess color palette to me. This is kind of driving me crazy. Rare games. Donkey Kong 64. Banjo Tooie. Nuts and Bolts. No, I came later. Diddy Kong Racing. Okay. That that explains why there's a deep memory somewhere in me. This one, I feel like this is a trap. Like, that's bullshit. Bull S. Sorry, YouTube. Um, is it mist? <laughs> I'm dying here, dude. It's a door. It's an ornate Game Boy Advance or early PC style door. I don't even this doesn't even look like a freaking door. Dude, that must be Shadow of the Colossus. No, it's got the same palette. Oh, it's it's uh Ico. It's it's one of those. The last guardian of the temple. It's like that, dude. It's one of those, dude. It's one of... You know as well as I do, it's one of those games. Devil May Cry. Let's go. This is the only one. That's Devil May Cry 4? This looks like it's straight out of 1999. This is, this is a Game Boy Advance or a SNES game. The door itself makes me think that this is an RPG. It's Golden Sun. Did I already type that? It's... Final Fantasy. It's Dragon Quest. It's it's a big door. It's Wario Land. Frick. It's Chrono Trigger. I looked at chat. It's Chrono Trigger. Dude, that was pretty good though. 95? It's not Chrono Trigger, it's Paper Mario. Was that the Game Boy Advance or is that DS? That's from GameCube? Why does it look so bad, dude? Why does it look so bad? Because it's paper? Can you name the Steely Dan songs? Oh, I'm just going to. No, I cannot. I actually can't. Um, this is just insane. What I can do, though, is I can do this. It goes Black Cow, Asia, Deacon Blues, Peg, Home at Last, and we got the news. I got the news. There you go. All right, so that was fun. Uh, next, next quiz, please. I mean, I mean, there's also Ricky. Don't lose that number. 
And of course, there's like um, dirty work. I don't want to do your dirty work no more. And of course, you got like, um, you know, my old school and Bodhisattva. Come on. Bodhisattva. Um, and you got, uh, wait, the big one. You know what I'm talking about. Are you reeling in the ye? I think that's on Pretzel Logic. Yeah, can't buy a thrill, like I said. Anyway, okay, we're moving on regardless. That's right, you got Do It Again. Sultans of Swing. Excuse me, that's a completely different band. That's um, Dire Straits. Canada, true or false? Canada is the second largest country in the world. True. Canada is, Tor Toronto is the capital of Canada. False. That's Ottawa. Jim Carrey, Shania Twain, James Cameron, and Alex Trebek are all Canadian. True. Queen Elizabeth II is the Canadian head of state. Technically true. Canada borders three other countries. Um, I have to think. About it's weird because, like, it borders um, the U.S., obviously. There's, like, islands off the coast of Newfoundland that are technically French Dominion. Uh, and I don't know. Maybe if you want to be technical, do we kind of, like, border Greenland? Um, which is not uh, Danish, but that's false. Just one border, just the one neighbor then. Canada has the world's longest coastline. I have to imagine that that is false. It's true! I would have thought like Indonesia or something like that. Canada holds the record for the most gold medals ever won at the Summer Olympics. Cannot be, cannot be true. But they do for the Winter Olympics. Okay. Canada is the St. Lawrence, St. Lawrence Iroquois word for village or settlement. I've always heard that that's true. Okay. Um, hockey is the only official sport of Canada. That's false. There's also lacrosse. Santa Claus is said to live in Canada. This is more of like a geography question than, than anything else. Um, I, the North Pole is kind of disputed dominion. I would say false. It depends. Come on, man. Um, it's true that when you send letters to Santa, we do send them to the postal code H-O-H-O-H-O. -O -O -O. Celine Dion is the top-selling female artist of all time. I absolutely believe it. My Heart Will Go On was unbelievably popular. It's false. She's third behind Madonna and Mariah Carey. Okay, fair enough. Canada has a city listed in the top 10 of the EIU's Global Livability Report. I would believe it. True. Three, actually, but who's counting? Um, Christopher Robin Milne named his teddy bear Winnie a Canadian black bear cub from Winnipeg. That's true. Winnie the Pooh is Canadian. The official languages of Canada are English, French, and native. I feel like this is kind of like a trick question. Um, but I'm going to say true. It's false. I know native is not a language, but I thought maybe they kept it as like an umbrella term for like indigenous languages. But then instead they're hitting me with like, it's not a language. And I'm like, I know. But did the government know that in 1917 when they made that? That's BS, dude. Canada defeated the USA in the War of 1812. Sadly false. Canada wasn't a country then and it was kind of a tie. Although they were the aggressor as usual. So, I mean, if you defeat the aggressor, would you consider yourself to have won the war? I would probably say that. The Toronto Maple Leafs haven't won the Stanley Cup in over 40 years. It's obviously true. Um, Canada has the world's longest freshwater beach. Could believe it. We have some very large lakes. Um... That's tough. I'm going to say true. Wasaga Beach on Georgian Bay. All right. Toronto CN Tower is the world's tallest freestanding structure. That's false. It used to be. Elton John, Vince Vaughn, Gene Simmons, and Drew Barrymore are all Canadian. False. We don't claim them. Poutine is a dish made from maple syrup and lobster. Come on. James Duhon, famous for Scotty on Star Trek, was Canadian. Um... That is true. Um, Abraham Lincoln was president when Canada became a country. This is false, I think. So the Civil War ended in 1865. Abraham Lincoln was president. Canada became a country in 1867. But I believe that Abraham Lincoln was murdered very soon, like before two years after the Civil War. So this has got to be false. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Died 1865. 
The current Maple Leaf Canadian flag is older than the current US 50 Stars flag. This is one you got to think about because there's a lot of technicalities. I believe that the Canadian flag is from the mid-1960s. So obviously the Betsy Ross flag is a little older. But 50 Stars? The last American states added were in like the 50s, I thought. So I think it's false. Okay. Close though. Very close. The east coast of Canada was settled by Vikings around 1000 AD. That's true. Canada hosts the northernmost permanent settlement in the world. I believe that that's false. It's true. Alert. I, I thought Svalbard was like more in Norway was more north than uh, than alert, but maybe not. Anyway, it's cold. Um, Rush, a Canadian band, is or will be a member of the Canadian or of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. What do you mean will be? How does that make any sense? Um, that is true, though. I'm assuming. <laughs> Um, you can see the Rocky Mountains from Vancouver. That's false. The population of Spain is greater than the population of Ontario. So Ontario's population is probably around 15 million. I would say that Spain probably has more than that. Okay. Yeah. Montreal is the world's largest French-speaking city. Can't possibly be true with Paris out there. Canada spans 11 time zones. Man, oh man, okay. You got Pacific, Mountain, Central, Eastern. That's four. Um, and then there's another one. There's Atlantic. And then there's like, they go a little bit past. It's false, dude. That's false. Only six. Germany declared war on, or Canada declared war on Germany in World War II at the same time as the USA. That would be uh, false. We declared it earlier. Seal hunting is legal in Canada. It's true. Canada is the United States' largest supplier of crude oil. That's true. Canada has the lowest population density in the world. It, we got to be pretty down there, but I believe it's false. Mongolia. Okay. Canada contains around one-tenth of the entire world's renewable energy, renewable water supply. I forgot how to read, apparently. I could believe it. I don't know if it's one tenth or one eighth or one fifteenth, but I, I'm going to say that this is one of those questions that is just true by design. Um, you can fit the UK inside of Hudson's Bay. Uh, true, but would you want to? <laughs> Eighty-nine. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Don't be mad at me, by the way. That like seal clubbing is legal in Canada, right? Like. I'm not sure if you're aware of my lot in, in Canadian politics. I'm the court jester who occasionally is deemed, uh, you know, hey, we can play some video games with this guy and use his audience uh, for our benefit. I don't really, like, vote in the House of Commons. Oh, no. This, this one's the one. I'm, I'm most afraid of this one. Can you choose the correct answers to these questions that cover a range of biology topics? No. Let's try. What does DNA stand for? I'm, we don't even need multiple choice. Deoxyribonucleic acid. Done. Adenine always pairs with guanine, except in RNA. Ah, thymine, I mean. The rungs of the DNA ladder are made of nitrogenous bases. Base pairs. Done. The DNA strands are held to each other by... Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. That's clearly um, hydrogen bonds. Okay. The twisted... Oh, it's a double heel. That's too easy. All organisms in the kingdom Animalia are um, multicellular... And heterotrophic, told you. Which of the following groups would contain the largest number of organisms? Donkey Kong plays cool or fun game, sir. Domain, kingdom, phylum. A scientific name contains information about its genus and species 
phylum and order, family and species, or class and family. No, this is when you have somebody whose name is like something something the fourth. Um, so it's something in species. Now you think about like um, this is tough. It, it's cool or fun games. I think it's genus species. Okay, what do plants and animals have in common? Both are eukaryotic. Yeah, absolutely. The current... Oh, it's Carolus Linnaeus. Come on. The number of chromosomes found in an unfertilized human egg cell is 23. In eukaryotes, the cell cycle is mon monitored by... It's got to be proteins. These are nutrients... Fats don't do anything. They're just chilling. Normal human males have which of the following sex chromosome combinations? So XY. Which of the following groups contains mammals that lay eggs? That's monotremes. Which order of mammals has the largest number of species? Interesting. Number of species. I'm going to say it's Chiroptera. Rodentia, of course. Which of the following animals have incisors that continue to grow its entire life? Nailed it. Which of these is the primary protein found in hair? <laughs> Keratin, of course. Which two biomes are the most similar when with regard to rainfall N completely different very similar pretty similar kind of similar i think yeah, i think it's tundra desert though which biome is characterized by a layer a layer of permafrost i think it's the taiga i do oh, it's taiga or tundra all right hey we still got 80 that's pretty good that's not too bad for having been out of the game for a while. Now, mind you, that those were like 10th grade level geog or, uh, biology questions, but still. Considering I haven't thought about biology in like a decade, that's not too bad. Plus, some of them are BS, dude. Like, what? They, like, that's what undergraduate degrees in biology are like. Is, is things that are like, you know, which uh, phylum has the greatest number of species in it? Nobody cares. If you ever saw that, like, in your, in your work, you would just Google it. Even if you thought you knew it, you would just Google it. Anyway. Um, those are intro to biology level questions. Yeah, but what you don't realize is that for most people, intro to biology is actually, like, outro to biology. It's like the last time you're ever going to study this stuff. Like, the, it's, they might as well call it outro from biology. Anyway, this is more my speed. Vancouver Canucks stat leaders from two, 2010 to 2019. All right, play quiz. Um, well, I mean, you're going to have a couple Sedins in there. You're going to have some Kesslers. Uh, you're going to have some Luongo. You're going to have some Ryan Miller. You're going to have some Markstroms. You're going to have... Uh, Okay, we got all the goalies. Uh, now, goals. Goals got bad for a while. Bo Horvat was in there. Um, trying to think who had the most goals some of these years for the Canucks. Um, Verbata, one year, led us in goals. Who scored the most goals in 2010 and 2011? Okay, hold on. 2019, we should be able to get a little bit more here. And I'm like trying to remember the years that they came in. So Brock Besser, definitely in 2018, crushed it. Next year, we had Pedersen, who did an amazing job. So now we're getting a little bit before my time. Uh, not, not so much, but we're only missing like a couple. Of, we're missing 2013's goalie, which must have been Corey Schneider. And then we're missing two years of goal scorers who must be the line mates of the Sedins. Okay.
Average score, 94. Like, it's not that hard. <laughs> I, oh, that's not the end. Follow that line. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Can you pick the line that follows each Austin Powers quote? Who throws a shoe? Like, honestly. Is this in... Honest. There we go. Who does number two work for? Who does number two work for? It's like, Jesus, buddy, what did you eat? Something like that. Hold on. Or you tell that turd who's boss. Yeah, that's it. You show that turd who's boss. Did you use protection? I'm not a... Only sailors use protection, baby. Where is that? Hold on. They should the dirty somethings. They go from port to port. I can't I can't find it though. Give me a give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Am I I'm I'm losing dude hit me with next. We'll we'll find it later. What? Are you feeding him? Why don't you just kill him? You just don't get it, do you, Scott? Something like that. We just need, actually, the boy's quite astute. I really am trying to kill him, but so far unsuccessfully. Okay, hold on. Yeah, and I can't believe Liberace was gay. Chicks loved him. Or like, women loved him, man. I didn't see that one coming. Why take the stairs when I can take the escalator? Why take the escalator when I've got a perfectly good canoe? I don't even know what this is. This sort of thing is in my bag, baby. One book, Swedish made penis in larger pumps and me. This sort of thing is my bag, baby by Austin Powers. You know, I have one simple request, and that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. What's the other thing that scares you? Connies, circus folk, small hands, smell like cabbage, small hands. Can you remind me what I pay you people for? Honestly, throw me a frickin' bone here. What do we have? Uh, we, sea bass. Yeah, there we go. Now, Mr. Evil. Uh... Whereas I didn't spend uh, eight years in evil med—I didn't spend six years in evil medical school to be called Mister. Thank you very much. You shot me right in the arm. Why did I need? I need some help on that one. Now, Scott, we don't want to kill each other in here. We might say that we do sometimes, but we really don't. This is in therapy from Austin Powers One, where he goes, "Actually, the boy's quite astute. I really am trying to kill him." My God, Vanessa's got a fabulous body. I bet she shags like a minx. <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember that one yet. Hold on. No, maybe like work in a petting zoo? An evil petting zoo? In Japan, men come first and women come second. Or sometimes not at all, I thank you. This is a classic. My father would womanize, he would drink. He would make outrageous claims like he invented the question mark. Sometimes he would accuse chestnuts of being lazy. Here's the plan. We get the warhead and we hold the world ransom for... One million dollars! Twenty beats your five. I'm sorry, sir. It's like... I also like to live dangerously or something? Hold on. Right. I think it's just right. Oh, well, I won't lie to you. Cards are not my bag, baby. At the age of 14, a Zoroastrian named Vilma ritualistically shaved my testicles. There really is nothing like a shorn, show, a shorn scrotum. You should try it sometime. Yeah, there we go. Baseball, cold showers, baseball, cold showers. Margaret Thatcher naked on a cold day. My name is Richie Cunningham, and this is my wife, Oprah. Jimi Hendrix, deceased drugs. Janis Joplin, deceased alcohol. Mama Cass, deceased ham sandwich. Name, Austin Danger Powers. Sex, yes please. I hate you. I wish I was never artificially created in a lab. Oh, Scott, that hurts daddy when you say that. Did you use protection? Of course I had my 9mm automatic. I mean, your condom, Austin. Did you use a condom? Don't be silly, babe. Only sailors use condoms. Not in the 90s, Austin. Well, they should, the dirty sailors. They go from port to port. 
What are you feeding him? Why don't you just kill him? I have an even better idea. I'm going to place him in an easily escapable situation involving an overly elaborate and exotic death. You shot me right in the arm. Why did... Oh, how do I tell her because of the unfreezing process I have no inner monologue? Right. Look at that. So easy, dude. Oh, no. We're screwed. We are screwed. <laughs> da Vinci, Van Gogh, or Rembrandt. All right. I know nothing about art, for the record. This is definitely Rembrandt. That looks old as shit. That's probably Da Vinci. That's Norman Rockwell. It this That kind of looks like Starry Night. That must be Van Gogh. The Potato Eaters. Um, that is also Van Gogh. That's Van Gogh. Come on, man. That's Da Vinci. Da Vinci? That looks like Rembrandt to me. That also looks like Rembrandt to me. That's Da Vinci. That looks like Rembrandt to me. What the? <laughs> what are you feeding that thing? I think that's Da Vinci. No. Well, yeah, I think it's Da Vinci. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, that's Van Gogh. It's hard, hard, impossible to tell. There's no face in this one. I think that's Van Gogh. Let's go. That's Rembrandt. The bi the blinding of Samson. That's that's Van Gogh, dude. No. Still, four, we we beat the average on that one, which is crazy. Because I honestly think I can name like two paintings. <laughs> <laughs> 